Hi everyone, Melanie here from Balloon Artworks and today I am on holiday in Wales. David and I are having a lovely time but I made sure I packed my essentials. So I've got my little balloon animal rucksack with all my essential supplies. I've got my Qualitex balloons, I've got my Sembatex 260s. So these are lovely by the way, I love these Sembatex pastel colours. They're so pretty and so nice to work with. I'll leave links in the description below where you can get these on Amazon. Uh, but I like these a lot. So I, I brought my essentials, a few 260s, a few 160s and some five inch rounds. And I'm just seeing what I'm inspired to make whilst I'm on holiday. So I've got something for you right now and I'll show you what it is. So I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little bird. So these birds are very common in the UK. We call them blue tits. I don't know what you call them where you are. You'll have to let me know. But they're, they're very common little birds and they are so lovely to watch. And we've seen a lot of them whilst we've been on holiday in Wales. So let me show you which balloons you're going to need to make your little bird. You're going to need a 260 in green for the base. I'm using a little piece of lemon 260 for the chest. And this time I'm going to use a darker blue, 260. And then I've got a 160 for the beak and the little um, sort of stripe on the body. Let's start off with the 260 green. And I'm using the hand pump. So this is the Qualitex hand pump. It's the hand pump I recommend. It's really very, very reliable, very well worth getting. I'll leave a link in the description below. One of the reasons I like it so much is that when you inflate, it's a dual intake pump. So it draws in air um, both in both directions. So when you uh, extend the pump and, and then return it to the, the pink section here, that's inflating, that's inflating, that's inflating, that's inflating. So when you're counting your strokes, you need to count the strokes that way. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's inflate this. Okay, so that was five strokes of the hand pump. Just let a little bit of air out, just to soften the balloon a little bit, and then tie. Okay, so we're going to make some flower petal loops. So just bend the balloon over, and we're making smallish loops of about three fingers. Okay, so just twist, and then poke your finger through the centre there, and just pass that neck and nozzle through the centre. That's just going to secure everything so it doesn't come undone. Give your balloon a little squeeze just to soften it. I'm going to make another loop to match this one. Okay, so twist, measure, and then just wrap around. Okay, and then wrap that knot and nozzle around just to secure it. Okay, so if your loops aren't exactly the same size, don't worry, it's not critical. Okay, and then we're going to make another loop of about three fingers in size. So just wrap that around and then swap that around with the other two just to secure it. Okay, again, squeeze your balloon, wrap that over, measure three fingers, okay, and just twist. Okay, so that's our fourth loop. We're going to do two more. So just squeeze your balloon, make another loop, measure, and then just twist, okay? And then wrap that around. We've got one more loop to make. So just twist that over, measure, wrap it around. Okay, and that should be, if I counted correctly, that should be our six loops. And we can just put them in order, okay? arrange these and if you find you've got one that kind of sticks up a little bit and doesn't look quite right just pop it just swap around with another loop and put it in a different position and you'll find that it will probably look a lot better 
okay so there you go now you've got options here you can either keep the stem and have this as a wand so if you want to give this to a child if you're doing a gig then you know you've got a wand and something for the child to hold on to alternatively you can just snip off the end okay let the air out let the balloon down and then just tie a knot okay and then you can use this to make a little loop and you know you can have this as a bracelet okay have the, your little bird on a bracelet okay so you've got options so let's just re rearrange these petals now okay so this is what you've got next take your blue balloon and just deflate with a couple of strokes so we're not going to use all of this hang on to that don't tie it just put a twist in the neck just to hold on to it and I just hold on to it there um, next to my hand pump between these two fingers okay and then I've got a little piece of uh, lemon or pale yellow and again just a couple of strokes of the hand pump because again we're not going to use all of this just soften the balloon slightly just let a little bit of air out and then wrap those necks over one another a couple of times and then tie okay so that's what you've got we're going to take these two ends and pull them into that base so just wrap that around and wrap the other end around a little bit okay so this is what you've got okay so next we're going to twist off two small bubbles okay the blue bubble needs to be just slightly bigger than the lemon one so let's twist off this lemon bubble first and that's perhaps a bubble of about four fingers difficult to see here four fingers and then you want your blue bubble to be just a little bit bigger I would say by about half an inch or so so I'm going to twist another bubble just about here and then twist the two together okay. so whichever colour you want to be on top that's the, the bubble that needs to be a little bit longer okay so twist that around a few times and we can put this to one side for just a moment next take your 160 I'm using chocolate brown if you haven't got chocolate brown you know black works really well and if you haven't got a 160 use a 260 you know we um, use use what you've got to hand I'm a big believer in using up your supplies you don't need to buy extra if you don't need them okay and what we need, want to do is just start at the nozzle end and just take hold of that and between your two fingers just push the air to the end until you get something that starts to look like this okay and then at this point just tie a knot okay so tie a knot there and pull it tight okay so you've got your little beak there so just take the beak and pull it into this section here and pull it through at the back okay and then you can take that uninflated brown balloon and wrap it into the base okay just once and then leave this here just position the beak and then with these two balloons you can cut them off but leave a, a decent section because we want to pull 
the uninflated sections into the base. So you can cut this section off here, okay? Let it down, but keep hold of it. So keep hold of that. And then we can snip off this section here. And then we can just tie those two together. Okay, so keep hold of them. And then on either side, just <laughs> your beak out of the way, on either side, pull them into the base and pull this one into the base and then wrap around to secure them. Okay. And just wrap around. Okay. And then if you need to, just move the strap in between the two balloons just to hide them. Okay. Don't worry if your beak has flopped over a little bit. So next, take hold of this strap and pull it up, okay? So take this uninflated 160 and just run it up the side, just quite lightly. You don't want to pull it too tightly. Over the top of the beak, down the other side. Adjust your beak and then pull this into the base. And what I like to do, I just like to put a couple of fingers there or just to hold it. And that means I'm not going to pull that strap too tightly. I can just let go now and then just hide that into the base. Okay. If you find that your beak isn't sitting, quite as you want it to. You can just part those two bubbles, the blue and the lemon, and just push the beak under and between them and until it comes out of the other side and then it should just sit fine, okay? And then just adjust the brown strap so that it's sitting loosely, okay? Over the top of the beak. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos which I publish each week and if you want more tutorials I'll leave links in the description to um, other tutorials that I think you would enjoy. I'm just going to draw a small eye. So just a small dot and then a little curve and the same thing on the other side. So there you've got your little bird and this design works really well for a robin. And I recommend you watch this video next.